Yo, what is up guys? So today we're gonna do a real life benchmarking video. I'm just gonna film it from your perspective. We're gonna play on the Asus G15 Advantage Edition. And I'm just gonna talk a bit about it. Don't focus too much on the gameplay, just talk about the laptop. What you can expect when you buy this machine. And pros and cons, should you buy it, should you not buy it. Now, I've just finished my stream and I was a little pissed because there were some problems with it. And the problems existed out of um, the screen, uh, sometimes just changing scenery or the, the it just randomly um, changed the modes. But apparently there was a software update. I just had a very big update, which it didn't get the other time. Um, but it has it now and it's totally fine now. I have not had any problems thus far with it so far. Now do keep in mind, if you want to buy this laptop to unlock the full performance, you're going to have to use a external monitor. Um, but even without that, it's doing fantastic. The overall performance on this machine is actually really good. Now you do see some very high thermals. Now what Intel has claimed is that is Intel claims that or uh, AMD claims that the temperatures can go up to 105 degrees be before it starts throttling. Sorry, gaming and uh, <laughs> talking is not my best thing. Um, and up to 110 um, degrees Celsius, that's where it gets a little dangerous. Now, overall, the laptop stays rather cool. It only gets a little bit warm here in the middle. Now we're playing on boost mode with the latest drivers. We are now. Um, the only downside I would say to this laptop is that there is no like shadow play recording option. So for all you MSI um, uh, NVIDIA shadow play users, you're going to have to use different software to, uh, to record stuff. I think overall for gaming, this laptop is really good. It's it usually you can get it at like super low price. Um, this model cost me 2K. Um, I did order some new RAM to replace, and they say you can get like 20% more performance. And while this laptop is already the best laptop for like Warzone I've ever had, performance-wise. So I'm just messing about. I'm just talking. Not really looking at the map or anything, so don't mind me getting on. Now, I'm going to start up another game after this one. We're going to play some Reddit Redemption. Do keep in mind, if you're buying a full AMD system, you're not going to get things like DLSS or um, NVIDIA Reflex. There's dudes over there. I have no, my face is way too far from the screen, the screen because of the camera. <laughs> but you can see the overall performance is, is just better than any laptop out there. That's no joke. Warzone performance is excellent. I did also have some issues with my Wi-Fi, but after a software update, that seems to be resolved. Wi-Fi issues as I wanted to play um, a video on YouTube and it just randomly disconnected my Wi-Fi. Those guys are just sitting back. Come on. Now the silent mode is also like super silent. It's just, you if you turn it on, you take a hit on your FPS, but it's like super quiet. And also because it's a full AMD system, the battery life is incredible. No, no, he's in the house. Okay, let's start up a different game. 
Now one thing about this laptop is I do find the trackpad to be a little bit annoying. I have pretty big hands, but each time I play, my hand just seems to touch the trackpad. And that's something I don't really like. But it's not a deal breaker or anything. It's just one of these minor things. I just turn off the gamepad or the touchpad when I um, when I game. So here we are back with some Cyberpunk. We're playing 1080p. 1080p full screen. Um, all the settings are set to ultra, apart from ray tracing, which is off. Plus, we do not have any DLSS support, as we do not have a NVIDIA graphics card. Now, AMD has their own solution. I think it's called like Fidelity X or something. But it's still not implemented in most games, so that's just maybe something for the future. Not something I would rely on personally if I should buy a laptop, but I think the overall performance in Cyberpunk is not that great. Um, I, I, I have seen my RTX um, 3060 do better than this on Ultra 1080p. But like I said, do keep in mind this laptop has no mux switch. The performance is totally different if you plug in a external monitor or and, re or and replace the RAM. Now, the AMD uh, 6800M has 12 gigabytes of VRAM. It somehow is not like fully utilized here. I think it has to do with the game not being recognized um, by the G GPU at like, f so it doesn't like use its full power. This can, the wattage can go up to like 160 watts but it's somehow stuck at 120 watts. I think it has to do with um, the dedicated graphics card not being fully used, which is weird to me in a game like this. Okay, let's try some Red Dead Redemption. Also, this is a thing I tend to notice is when I boot up games, it somehow gives me like weird screens. It's not like full screen. It says borderless, but we want full screen, but we cannot apply the changes. It's like really weird. Now the temperature is a little concerning to me. I don't know why it's doing that, but I think that's pretty close to the surface of the sun temperature. So, now here we have some Reddit Redemption. Somehow it worked itself out, the, like half the screen. My particular model has a Quad HD panel. Now I'm playing all these games on 1080p. I will be playing 1440p when I'm going to use my monitor. But that's going to be for a different video. So I'm just going to mess a bit around. Let's try not to kill myself or the horse. Or get killed by the falling horse. Can we revive the horse? Now we're play, currently playing Red Dead Redemption 2 on Ultra settings, 1080p Ultra. So this is pretty demanding. I think these games I just showed you are pretty graphically demanding. I'm also going to try more games like AC Valhalla, but benchmarking this laptop and recording is, is, is a pretty big hassle. <laughs> What's that? I love and hate this laptop, to be very honest with you. I love and hate this laptop. There's just some things that I do not really like about it, but for this price and this performance, that's the, the price performance is really good. And also, of course, we got the nice light bar. Over here, we have some extra intakes. It's a little hard to see. 
but over here along this line we have some more intake of air. Personally, I think the Legion lineup offers better price performance and just gives you like more solid overall experience. If you're just going to buy a laptop for gaming, you might want to buy this one because you can get these at like really cheap. If you replace the RAM and hook up an external monitor, if you're going to do that anyways, this would definitely be a record, like a laptop I would recommend. Now guys, if you like my content, hit the like and subscribe button. This was the end of the video. And thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Peace, guys.